pleasure for me to be here with some very important people from our community who care about our kids. And I want to thank everyone for coming for a Mayor's Cash or Coach Drive. And for the past six years, we started this six years ago, wow, we've annually held the Mayor's Fall Drop Off. But this year we're not making, we are making some slight changes to the program and renaming it as the Mayor's Cash for Coach Drive. This event is part of Make a Difference Day, which is sponsored by the USA Weekend Magazine, in partnership with the Points of Light Foundation and Volunteer Center National Network. Make a Difference Day is the most encompassing national day of helping others. Last year, millions of people cared enough about their communities to volunteer on this day, accomplishing thousands of projects in towns across the country. This year, once again, I am asking the citizens of Albany to come together and make monetary donations so that we can purchase new winter clothing items, including mittens, gloves, hats, scarves, and coats for our children in need. Participants will be asked to bring their monetary donations to the Albany Devils game at the Time Genius Center on October 26th. We'll accept any amount. Every dollar counts. As much as we can raise, it'll be much more beneficial. Well, we, we anticipate a good crowd that night. We want to get the word out that we would like you to participate in this. 100% of the proceeds collected will be used to purchase items, which will then be distributed to needy young school-aged youngsters in kindergarten through grade five in the Albany City School District. In the Albany City School District. So, uh, it stays right here in the community, and it's for our kids. I encourage everyone in the capital region to participate in any way they can. If you can't make it to the Devils game, you'll be able to make it donations right here at City Hall until November 1st. Donations will be made at the security desk or the special events office on the fourth floor. Last year's coat drive resulted in a distribution of over, over 4,000 new winter clothing item, items, including 600 coats to Albany Elementary School children. By concentrating on cash donations, we hope to do even better for the kids of the Capital Region this year. I'd like to extend a special thanks to the Albany Devils for all their support and assistance with this year's event. And I thank them for their dedication to assisting young people in our capital city. Chris Cicero is the Chief Executive Officer of the Albany Devils. But you know, when I mentioned this to him, he said, well, let's make a night of it. Let's do what we can. He's been a true partner, and that's why we want to make sure the Devils continue to have our support throughout the community because they do care and they are making a difference here. So Chris, thank you very much for us. Just a few couple words. This is our third season in the great city of Albany. The first person I had an opportunity to meet was Mayor Jennings. And for those of you who don't know, I had the pleasure of attending Providence College with this handsome gentleman over there, Bob Van Amber. And we have, from our hearts, we care about the community. And when I met Mayor Jennings, I know he's an ex-principal, but one thing was very evident when you talked to the mayor, and that's his commitment to children. We as the Devils Organization care about children equally. So when Bob and the mayor and I got together, we were talking about, could we use the Albany Devils and have this hockey game be the medium where people could come and buy or donate money for coats? As the mayor said, we were very successful last year. We have some of the most generous fans that are associated with the Albany Devils. And our goal this year is to beat that record of what the mayor just said. So, again, thank you for us. It's an honor for us to participate with the mayor in this sixth season collecting articles for the needy children. Thank you very much. Again, it's Friday night. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chris. And once again, thank you to the Albany Devils. I'm also happy to announce that Mr. Jack Yonley, President of Beat Lodge's department store, has agreed once again to offer a significant discount on winter items when purchased for this event. And Jack really has been a true partner. He really helped kick this off. He's really helped get the message out. And Yonley's has been here for many, many, many years, and they really care about what goes on in the city and in the lives of our kids. So, Jack, 
once again, I want to thank you and yes, you come up and say a few words. Thank you. Mayor just said I have to wish Sharon a happy birthday because my daughter, who owns 49% of the store, it's her birthday today. So happy birthday. She's here instead of her brother, she's much prettier. This is the sixth year that we've been that we've been associated with the mayor's program here. Six years ago, I got a phone call saying, Jack, can you like take 20% off your hats and gloves and coats and so forth so, to make this successful? And I said, Mayor, let's go better than that. I'm gonna give you the coats that cost $16. Anything that's purchased in the store by any of our patrons, hats, gloves, scarves, will be 50% off which is below cost. I'm very happy to be able to say that our coats this year will be $16 and our hats, gloves, and scarves will be 50% off. That's how we are able to get new hats, gloves, and coats to all of these children. And if you see a kindergarten or fifth grader who gets a new coat, who's never had a new coat, you'll know what this program means. And I wanna also thank the Office of Special Events, the Fire Department, the Police Department, the City Employees, and my customers who are already coming to the store and dropping off money because they know it's a good program. And I want to thank the Mayor for letting us participate. Thank you. Thank you, Jack, and it would not be anywhere near the success it, it is without your support and help Jack. So you really have been a true partner and a true friend. So once again, thank you. You know, Tom Burke is usually here from Burke Companies, and he's been very, very generous over the years. He's been supportive every year of this, and we now have the better looking, smarter, more intelligent Tom Burke Jr. here today. His son is here today, and I told him he can say that to him. Tommy, thank you for coming and said your dad's out of town, and I appreciate you coming down and continuing a great tradition. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, for that kind introduction. But more importantly, for your leadership in this wonderful project, I thank you. It is a privilege to be here with you today to kick off a fundraising for such an important need, that being winter clothing for our children. Burke Companies is proud to join with Mayor Jennings and other participating sponsors in an effort to give back to support a small language in the community that we live in. Burke Companies is contributing an initial $5,000 and is also offering an initial grant for $5,000 matched. So that's a total of $10,000 raised. I'd like to take this time to thank everybody involved. This is a worthy endeavor. Thank you again. Thank you, Tom. And once again, thank you, Dad, for continuing this We really do appreciate it, and we're glad that you're here with us today. It's hard to uh, overstate the importance of the Albany School District cooperation as far as the success of this coat drive. We work closely with the district to help put these winter items into the hands of the kids who need them. And we have a new superintendent of schools, but she's hit the ground running, and even before she was a superintendent, she wanted to sit down and talk about what's good for the city, what's best for our kids, and she certainly turned into a true partner for all of us. And I'm very happy to introduce to us to you our new superintendent, Dr. Marguerite Van Wingard, Superintendent of Omni City Schools. I'll say a few words. Dr. Van Wingard. Good afternoon. My name is Marguerite Van Weingarten, and I started my job as Albany School Superintendent about a month ago. And although I'm relatively new to Albany and my new home, I am a native of Michigan, and therefore no stranger to winters that can last up to six, eight months at a time. As I learn my way around my new home, I continue to marvel at the generosity of this community. Today is just one more example. 
The wide range of people behind this initiative, from hockey players to barbers and bankers, and of course the mayor, shows your deep commitment to helping meet one of the most basic human needs, staying warm when it's freezing. When I think about giving a coat to a child, I think about my daughter being bitterly cold. It's an uncomfortable feeling, unbearable, and it's a horrible reality. I wonder if those of you who support this program year after year can picture your own son or daughter, nephew or grandchild, without a winter coat. And if that vision might motivate you even more. Whatever your reasons, the results are, kind, are in kind that our children need to be kept warm in winter. This is truly a wonderful thing. It sounds like for six years you've been emboldened to do marvelous work for our children. And for that, I applaud you. I salute you, and I'm thrilled to be a partner in this endeavor. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I'm looking forward to coming to the schools and really seeing the smiles on the kids' faces when we give these out, because if you're there, you see that, and you can see how much they appreciate it, what we're doing. So. I'd also like to take a moment to thank CDTA, Trusco Bank, Downtown Albany Bid, Albany Broadcasting, Capitalize Albany, and Men's Room Barbershop for their additional generous support of this project. You know, Albany citizens have a long history of helping others, and I know we can count on that they once again help make a difference in our community and ensure that our children are kept warm during the cold winter months. I encourage you to join the millions of people across the country who will spend the weekend on October 26th making our world a better place. Come out and enjoy a hockey game with the whole family while making a difference in our community, which you can also donate if you don't go to the game. So help spread the word so that we make sure that all the children that need our help are benefit from this. And that's the goal that I started six years ago. Couldn't be successful without the support of all the people behind me, and they deserve another round of applause. Thank you all for being here. I, I know we're going to have a very successful cash for Coach Drive. Let's look out for each other. Most importantly, let's look out for our kids. Thank you, and I appreciate everyone being here today. Thank you.